Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be my October favorites. And can I tell you guys how excited I am that I'm actually filming this video. When I've tried to film this video, so many different things have gone wrong, including today. This eye, if you see that it looks a little weird or my concealer is creasing or anything like that, is because it keeps on watering. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know my struggles with my watery eye syndrome. It is so, so bad. And I've tried everything. I've tried everything and honestly nothing's working. So we're just gonna roll with it. Hopefully it doesn't go berserk in the middle of the video. But knowing it, it most likely will. On top of that, I've been sick for a little while now. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm not completely better, but I'm better enough to the point where I feel like I can get in front of the camera and do what has to be done. Also, I just want to mention that this month I have so many favorites. Like, the mother load of favorites is what I have this month. So please bear with me because this will be a long video. So go grab yourself some Taco Bell. Go grab yourself an Oreo milkshake. I heard the red velvet one is really good. And let's jump into the favorites. So with my favorites videos, I do usually like to start off with skincare. And I do have some skincare to talk about this month. The first one is a mask that has just become my favorite mask that has ever touched my face in the history of my life. <laughs> this is the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. And this is the one in the orange. Obviously, you can see the orange here. <laughs> I did have the white mask and the green mask and honestly I didn't feel like they did much for my skin. I guess it depends on what it is that you're fighting when it comes to your skin. But this one is an exfoliating mask and I feel like it does wonders for my face. You guys already know I love anything that has to do with exfoliation, anything that says exfoliates. I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna need 12 of them. Thank you. <laughs> but this I really like because first of all it smells like a tropical paradise. Like I want you to just just go to Sephora and just smell it. I know this is really pricey, but I honestly feel like it's worth it. I definitely do see a difference in my skin. Even though my skin is already pretty clear, I do feel like it is more radiant after I use this. And it just feels so soft. And honestly, the number one thing that I care about is having soft skin. When it comes to my skin, I just want smooth, soft skin. And this really helps me get there. So this is the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. So that was actually it for skincare. I do have a primer though that I wanna talk about. And this is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. And I know a lot of people are talking about this right now. And I'm telling you, it is for a good reason. I saw so many people talking about this and I was just like, okay, like we have like 107 primers to refine pores like we don't need another one but honestly like we need this one this is the only one that we need this is the best one that I have found thus far first of all I think it does mattify my face or wherever it is that I put it like in my t-zone I feel like it mattifies me pretty well and it also fills in my pores better than any primer that I've ever used before and I'm including my Tarte Timeless primer that you guys know I'm like head over heels with like that's my ride or die this is better than that primer. So I highly suggest you guys pick this up. I don't remember if this was pricey or not. I did get mine at Sephora, but even if it's pricey, I'm telling you. I'm telling you if you have big pores like I do. I have pores all right in this area, and they're so bad. This will definitely combat that for you. I highly suggest this. So now for the foundation that I have been loving this month. I have been adoring it, and I'm sure you guys all know what it is by now because I wear it in pretty much every single video, and I have a dedicated video reviewing this foundation because I love it that much, and this is the MAC Studio Waterweight Foundation. Mine's in the color NC44, as are all of my MAC foundations, and I just love this foundation so much. I'm not going to go super in-depth because, like I said, I'm linking the review in the description box, so if you guys want, you know, a lot of details, go to that review. <laughs> but I just think this is the greatest foundation that MAC has. Personally, it's my favorite, and I just can't get enough of it. I am wearing it today, and I'm wearing it every day, basically. So <laughs> this is definitely, definitely a favorite of the month. Now for my favorite highlighter of the month, I actually only have one. I know, guys. I know. I usually have, like, 37 different ones to talk about. But I only have one, and it is limited edition. But I felt like I would be doing something, like, wrong if I didn't share this with you guys. Because I do love it so much, and I have been using it like crazy this month. So this is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. This is just what it looks like on the inside. I'm sure you guys all know what this looks like because everyone has been so in love with this since it came out last year. This is permanent at Sephora, 
but I've been told by many people that it's not the same. I haven't personally swatched the one that's in Sephora, but I've been told that it's not the same as this color. I just think this is the best highlighter that Bobbi Brown has ever, ever come out with. I love the color of it. I love how it looks on my skin. I'm not wearing it today because I've been wearing it so much. I was just like, okay, Gaby, like... Seriously, like calm down. But I just think this is ideal, especially for medium skin tones, because a lot of times lighter highlighters, like super gold highlighters, they can look a little ashy on our skin. This will not look ashy, but if you're lighter than me, then it will still pull off as just like a bronze glove, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not super bronze to the point where it just looks muddy on your skin. It still looks like a really healthy, beautiful glow. So I love this. If you guys get a chance to pick it up, I highly, highly highly suggest that you do i didn't love it as much when it came out last year but this year i like re fell in love with it and i was just like oh my god really quickly i do want to talk about a contouring brush that i have been using every single time i do my makeup this month i'm sure if you've seen any of my videos you would have seen me use this brush this is the sigma tapered highlighting brush the f35 a lot of people use this for highlighting it's meant for highlighting it's called the tapered highlighter brush so a lot of people use it for highlighting i purchased it with the intentions of using it for highlighting once i tried it out for highlighting i was just like great now I just like wasted my money because I don't like it for highlighting but then I told myself I was like no obviously you don't have to only use this for highlighting you can use a brush for whatever you want to use it for whatever floats your boat you can use it for so I was like okay I'll try it for contouring and I actually really like it it is of course what I used for my contour today I do usually like a pretty intense contour and I feel like this gives that to me but at the same time it gives enough it has enough give to it where it'll still blend out the contour and I just think it is so perfect for contouring. I also use it to bronze around my forehead and around my face and I feel like it does a great job of that as well. So this is the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighting Brush. So let's move on to eyes because I feel like I have the most products to talk about in that area. The first thing I want to talk about is actually an eye primer and this is the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. This is so good it's so good I honestly didn't understand why everybody was hyping it up so much and then Luster Lux said something that just made me have to run out and get it she said that if you put on this eye primer your metallic shadow or whatever it is that you're wearing on your lid will not transfer to like your crease and that has always been one of the like things that grinded my gears the most when I would put like a metallic eyeshadow on my lid it would just go everywhere and that's pretty much why I always stuck to mattes like I'm wearing mattes today <laughs> but she is so right this actually really does work nothing was working for me before not glitter glues anything like that but this works so well it really does keep your color right on your lid I just posted actually today the day that I'm filming this I actually just posted a get ready with me using Natasha Denona eyeshadows and in that video I don't know if you guys can tell but there's so much transfer from my lid to my crease and it drove me insane and that was pretty much the reason I was not gonna post it but I asked you guys on snapchat if you still wanted me to post it and you said hell yes so I did <laughs> I feel like if I would have used this primer I would have never had that problem so I highly suggest you guys pick this up this primer will change your makeup game. So now moving on to eyeshadow palettes. I have about 45 I want to talk about so let's just start off with them. The first ones I want to talk about are repeats for me. I have talked about these in my previous favorites video, my September favorites, and I usually don't like to repeat favorites <laughs> but I just feel like these really need another shout out because I have been using them all month long again these are the Viseart palettes this one is the dark matte this one is the natural matte I'm actually waiting for the Sephora VIB Rouge sale which is next week on the 6th November 6th and I'm gonna buy more because I love this formula of eyeshadows more than any other formula that I've ever tried ever ever in my life ever <laughs> I love them more than makeup forever I love them more than Anastasia I do love them more than Natasha Denona palettes which a lot of people are asking me if those are worth it honestly I did that video just because I was truly getting ready to go somewhere and I had the palettes and I wanted to use the palettes but I honestly don't think it's necessary to spend 250 plus dollars on a palette honestly I wouldn't even have those palettes if I didn't get them for my birthday just saying <laughs> so these palettes are absolutely worth it absolutely 100% they're $80 which compared to $250 is not a lot but compared to other palettes they're kind of a lot but I honestly I just love them so much I would pay the price for these any any day of the week any day so I highly suggest these they're super pigmented super blendable and they're just the best 
that's all I can say. They're the best. The next eyeshadow palette that I want to talk about, you guys probably only saw me use it so far if you follow me on Snapchat because I did film two tutorials with this palette, but they will not be up until after this video is up. And this is the Kat Von D. Oh. The Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. I love this palette because it has all the colors in the rainbow in it. The shadows are ridiculously pigmented. You will see in the tutorials that I post. They are just so pigmented and I just feel like you can get such a variety of different looks with this one palette. It's humongous, I will say. This is like gigantic. I have to store it on my vanity because it doesn't fit anywhere because it's huge. But it's so cute. I feel like it's okay. Like I want to store it on my vanity. I want people to see this because Kat Bundy is super talented and I'm pretty sure she draws out all of these like designs for her palettes and they're amazing. And I love her. So, I highly suggest this palette. I think it is limited edition only for the holiday season. So if you get a chance to buy it, I would highly suggest you guys pick it up. And again, this is the Mi Vida, Mi Vida Loca, or Mi Vida Loca, remix palette by Kat Von D. <laughs> Last eyeshadow palette that I want to talk about, this is the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. Yes, mine is filthy. We addressed this in the tutorial that I posted with the palette. I will link that tutorial down below. I love this palette. I personally like this palette more than the original. And I think the reason for that is just because there's so many warm tones in here, obviously. That's just like what calls out to me, like this orange shade, like, ugh. Don't even get me started. I love this palette. I love Lorac's eyeshadows. I'm pretty sure everybody does. They do kick up a lot of fallout, like when you put your brush in there. It's just like so much product gets around. And then on top of that, the packaging for this is kind of like that packaging that gets dirty really easy. So it's kind of like a lose-lose. But honestly, the shadows are so nice. And the selection in this palette is so good that I just think it is worth it. Honestly, getting this palette was so much easier than getting the palette from last year. I did get it, like, when it launched, but I had to literally stalk my phone. For this one, I just casually woke up, ordered it, and went about my life. I highly suggest you guys pick it up if you can. I've seen it in Ulta stores pretty recently, and I think it is still on the website. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's still in stock. So I would suggest you guys pick this up. I definitely think it would be worth it. I do want to talk about my favorite lashes for the month. I am wearing them right now, but I have, like many pairs because I love them so much. These are by Lily Lashes and this is a style Mykonos. Thank God that Jaclyn Hill talked about these because I would not know how to pronounce this name. It's like so sad that I don't know how to say this. But like I would look at this and struggle and be like, what? Mike? Michael? No? Mike? But these are honestly the best eyelashes I've ever used. So you can see them on my eyes right now. I've used them in like two or three videos prior to today and this is them in the box. They are just so stunning. Honestly when I first saw them I was like why is everybody hyping them up like they don't even look that special but put them on your eyes. They have such a nice like curl to them. It's like a natural curl and they're so long and wispy. Honestly I think they would go good with any makeup look that you choose to pair them with and ooh, ooh. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I stocked up on these because I know that I will go through these like water, honestly. I love them so much. So these are Lily Lashes and Mykonos. We're actually almost done with makeup favorites. I actually only have two more to talk about and then we will jump into my lifestyle favorites. So the first one that I want to talk about is a lip pencil by MAC and honestly, this color is the reason for my existence. So this is the MAC lip pencil in the color Cork and I am, I've used this in so many videos this month to swatch it for you it's a very it's like a brown taupe color this is it right here I have used it in so many videos this month if I'm wearing a nude lipstick except for the most recent video that I posted if I'm wearing a nude lipstick I am most likely wearing this it is so so beautiful on my skin tone I feel like it just is amazing it's amazing because I feel like sometimes if I try to wear like stripped down it just doesn't look good on me but this looks so good so good and another lip pencil, it's not really so much the color that I want to talk about, but I'm talking more about the formula. These are the ColourPop Lippy Pencils. I am obsessed with the formula of these. I love them so much. Honestly, no other lip pencil compares to this formula. They're so smooth. They're $5, but right there, they're $5. They already beat, like... <laughs> everybody else because they're only five dollars they don't come with as much product I'm pretty sure as a lot of other lip pencils but like they're five dollars <laughs> so I just chose three colors offhand I also do love the color button but I couldn't find it so I'm gonna show you the three that I chose to show you guys so this is feminist it's a super dark blackened plum color I love this for like any vampy lip I love that 
Then this is Bound, the pink shade. It's just like a beautiful everyday lip color. And then the last one is Dahlia. I've used that one pretty often just for like any of my vampy lips this month and I love them all. I love the formula. It is so creamy. It doesn't skip. Sometimes MAC lip pencils skip and that gets on my nerves. <laughs> but the ColourPop ones do not do that so I highly suggest you guys pick them up. And on top of everything, they are $5. So that's actually it for all of my makeup favorites. I do have quite a few of lifestyle favorites. So the first one I want to talk about is this chapstick. <laughs> I know it's so weird. Like, it's just chaps. It's literally just chapstick. It's not even a flavor. I think it's just like the original. Yeah, it's the original. And it says 8 hour moisture on it. This is the best lip balm that I've ever used. And I have used, like, By Beauty Agave lip mask. I've used, like, a Lush lip balm. I've used so many lip balms. And I'm thinking, like, I have to get into, like, expensive lip balms. Because, like, everybody loves them. Just go get yourself a chapstick. This chapstick is so good. This is what I use all the time. I bought a three-pack. I have one in my purse, one by my nightstand, and one that I keep with my makeup so that I can apply it while I'm applying my makeup. And then by the time I get to, like, liquid lipstick, because let's be honest, that's all I wear. <laughs> Once I get to my liquid lipstick, like my lips are already super moisturized and I don't have to worry about them being all cracked and disgusting. And this is just like the best. Like it literally leaves my lips so moisturized for so long. I don't even have to carry it in my purse, honestly, because I almost never have to reapply it. It is just amazing. I highly suggest you guys pick this up if you guys are like, oh my god, my lips are like chronically dry like mine. Oh, they're disgusting, honestly. But once I found this, like my lips have been so smooth, I just want to like touch them all the time. So good. So good. Speaking of so good, I have been loving this candle so much this month. This is Leaves by Bath & Body Works. I picked this up when they had the sale. I think it was this month. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I saw so many people talking about how good Leaves smells and like it's their favorite candle and like the fall favorites tag. And I was just like, that does not even sound appealing to me. I'm the type of person that loves cinnamon. I like cinnamon all day every day if you say cinnamon in your name of your candle i'm gonna buy it most likely because i just love the way that cinnamon smells this i was like this does not even sound appealing like why would anybody want something that smells like leaves i don't know it just didn't sound appealing to me but i did go to bath and body works for the first time <laughs> and i started smelling their candles and i smelled this one and i was just like oh my god it's amazing and i literally have burned i feel like this is a lot honestly i'm like almost never home so the fact that i've burned this much like that's crazy to me. I also picked up the little like air freshener with the leaves and I have like 35 refills because they are just the best. When you just walk into my room, you're just like, yes, God, yes, God. Mama Danger told me I had to leave my door open so that the rest of the house can smell good and it's not just my room. Just saying, I'm not tooting my own horn, but leaves is popping. So this next thing is a dish soap. <laughs> okay, so this is a story, this is a story. I had to wash my brushes and I always use Dawn dish soap to wash my brushes. So I went downstairs, I grabbed it and I noticed we usually buy the one that's like in the blue bottle and I noticed that it was in a silver bottle and I was just like, oh, okay, whatever, it's in a silver bottle, like whatever. And so I come wash my brushes and as I'm washing my brushes, I'm like, why does it smell so good? It's because of this. <laughs> This soap says that it has a refreshing rain scent. It's the Dawn Ultra Platinum Power Clean Refreshing Rain Scent. And honestly, I never liked the scent of rain. I don't know why anybody's always like, oh my god, like rain smells so good. Like it doesn't. I don't think it does, personally. But this, it smells so clean and like fresh. And my brushes, like when I do my makeup now, I'm just like... <sighs> I highly suggest if you guys wash your brushes with dish soap, which I have been doing forever now. And I honestly find that it's the best and it's like the only thing that has worked the best for me. Um, if you do that, I would suggest you pick up this scent because it is good. <laughs> okay, I do just want to mention some jewelry. I told you guys we're going to be here for days. So the first thing I want to talk about are midi rings. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been wearing midi rings in a lot of my videos. Not every single video, but like a lot of my videos I've been wearing them. And I just love them. I got mine, I think I got all of mine from Forever 21. They have like packs of so many, so I just ordered a whole bunch. And I just love them. I feel like they make my hands look so girly and fun. And they're just so cool. I just love them. Another piece that I want to talk about is this necklace that I'm wearing. I've been really into bar necklaces. If you guys saw my Roxbox unboxing, I actually got one from Roxbox. I sent that one back already because I have to send back my Roxbox. But I got this one off Etsy. And I will link the seller down below because I can't remember. But I will link her down below. And honestly, she... 
she killed this so let me show you it is a personalized bar necklace so it does have like words on it I don't know if you can even see the, the stuff so what it says on it I don't know if you can tell probably can't maybe like that so what it says on it is it says 518 which is May 18th which is a super important day in my life and I'll tell you guys why of course I'm not just gonna leave you hanging like that but that's what it says on the front and it's in lowercase roman numerals because that's what I asked her for and then on the back it says it's upside down now because obviously it's upside down but it says DEF also in lowercase letters and it's a sterling silver I believe and I'm just so in love with it I have not taken it off since I got it basically 518 is a really important day in my life and my family's life because it represents a whole bunch of things first it is my goddaughter's birthday her name is Dana hence the D on the back the D yeah D then the E is for Elver because that's me and Elver's or Elver and my anniversary and it's also going to be the day that we get married, so that's what the E is for. And then the F is for my uncle who recently passed away. Um, it's also his birthday on May 18th, so that was the DEF. His name is Feli, and um, yeah, so that's what that's for. So it's really important to me that I have this necklace. I feel like I have, you know, so much important things on May 18th. I felt like I just needed to have something with that day on it, and I just, I just really like it, and I'm really happy that I have this. So again, I will link the Etsy seller name down below because she literally had like everything that I wanted she made it like come true everything I pictured in my head is what I got and I I'm so ridiculously happy so I will link her down below but that's that necklace that's it for jewelry <laughs> so I just want to tell you guys about these two tattoos that I got this month I got them at the same time I'm a very impulsive person hence why I have like multiple tattoos I literally am just sitting there and I'm like all right I'm gonna go get a tattoo and I'll just get up and go like I'm really impulsive like that and basically what happened was I was at work and I had been thinking about getting these two tattoos for so long but one I was like really 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 set on and I was talking to my coworker, and she was like oh my god those are like such good ideas and she made me feel really good about them so I said okay as soon as I get out of work I'm gonna go get them which is exactly what happened I got out of work and I went to go get them and then I came home and told everybody what I had done <laughs> so basically the tattoos that I got if you guys don't follow me on snapchat you might not know I got an arrow right here and I just feel like I don't know I just really wanted this so bad this was the one that I was like I'm gonna get regardless I just don't know when but it was the other day I went and I got it <laughs> and I love this so much I feel like it signifies something that is like so dear to me I feel like it's, it could be dear to anybody honestly what it signifies is that like how you shoot an arrow like I don't know how to explain it I saw it being explained online and like I can't explain it the way they did I can't explain it all nice and stuff but basically the way you shoot an arrow is that you have to pull it back before you can shoot it forward so basically like if life is pulling you back it just means you're gonna be shot forward you know you know you know what I'm trying to say you're just trying to I see what you're doing <laughs> so that's the first one and I honestly love this one so much and I did get another one on my arm right here I obviously cannot show you right now but I will insert a picture hopefully if I remember to tell somebody to take a picture um, and that just says Milagros which is my grandmother's name and it's also my middle name for anybody <laughs> who's wondering my middle name is Milagros and for anybody who doesn't know what Milagros means Milagros means miracle in Spanish it was really special to me it made my grandmother cry and it just like of happiness of course and I just like really like I love it. I love it so much. So I just wanted to show you guys those two tattoos I got this month that I have been just loving. So the last three things that I want to talk about are sunglasses. You guys know I'm sunglass crazy. I'm literally a nut when it comes to sunglasses. I do plan on doing a sunglass collection video because I've seen, I think Kathleen Lights did one and I thought it was like super fun. So I do plan on doing one in the near future, but for now I'm just going to tell you guys the three pairs because obviously I have to be extra and mention three pairs of sunglasses. <laughs> Um, that I've been loving this month. So the first one is this pair right here and I Can we just can we just so the story behind these is that my co-worker or he's not my co-worker anymore because he left But his name was Freddie. He was always talking about these sunglasses and we actually I work in sunglasses For anybody who's wondering I work in like the sunglasses department and he was talking about these sunglasses and we had them these are by Celine by the way we had them in the color blue and the color green and we can't stand those colors we didn't like those colors and he was like I've seen them in black and they're so pretty and I'm like all right all right like cool one day we get a shipment and they're just there we got like three or four pairs and they're just there and Freddie freaks out puts them on and we're just like oh my god they look so good so I'm like you know let me just try them on for like kicks and giggles right so I put them on 
and I looked in the mirror and I was just like sold <laughs> right then and there I was like I need these absolutely need these so I picked them up right away I love them so much it literally pains me to not wear them every single day I had to stop myself every morning I'm like Katie please grab a different pair of sunglasses please girl come on the next pair I want to talk about are by Key these are from the Key and Shay Mitchell collection this is from the newer collection these are called Vivian in black and I believe that they used to have a Vivian in black that didn't have the blue mirror but this one does have a, be a, bleh, a blue mirror <laughs> and I am obsessed with these I don't really like aviators personally I have the ones from the Amanda Steele collaboration with Key and I like them but I like these so much more I feel like these are so badass like I just love them a lot I also have these in gold the gold ones are nice too but the black ones are so good and then the last pair that I have are also from the Key and Shay Mitchell collaboration because honestly I feel like the Key and Shay Mitchell collaborations always come out with the best sunglasses. Like the Dominoes, I have those too. Those are so nice. But these are my favorite. These are the Vita, or Vida. <laughs> and I think this is in the green tort or something like that. Honestly, I don't really care about the style. I don't care about the frame. I don't care about anything. The thing I care about the most is just this green lens. Like I just, I love this green lens. If they had more glasses, like if Key had more glasses with green lenses, green mirror lenses to be exact. I would buy all of them. I just love them so much. So those are my three favorite sunglasses for the month. <laughs> so that is it for my favorites video. Finally, we had so much to talk about, but I just really wanted to share a lot of the things that I've been loving this month and I knew that I had a lot of stuff to talk about. I didn't really have a lot to talk about in my September favorites, so you know I had to make up for it now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to leave your favorites in the comments below I love to tell you guys my favorites and you tell me your favorites and we just talk about makeup all day or er day so please do not forget to do that don't forget to subscribe if you're not already don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did like it don't forget to follow me on snapchat Instagram and Twitter all the information will be linked down below as well as everything on my face today and yeah links to some previous videos too <laughs> that's all I have to say so I'll see you guys in my next video bye so so happy that I... shut up and didn't do anything and here comes Austin I'm sorry can you do it for me tomorrow please I'm, I'm going as ghetto joker ghetto joker so that was I did <laughs> what oh oh my god 24 hour extended do you have to make so much noise <laughs> this is so rude oh. So, I feel like, uh, they do kick up a lot of, uh, everybody kind of like grinds like their teeth at it. <laughs> and they're beautiful, I mean, honest, and then we will jump into my lifestyle product, we'll jump into my lifestyle favorites. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not do that. That's all I have to say, so I get, uh, Okay, so that's actually it for all my makeup favorite. Oh, there's hairs like attacking my face. Once I get to my lip, my lip. and I love this. Uh, <coughs> Oops. <laughs>